So in my entire time of playing Defiant, I've probably played maybe maybe 20 matches and that's probably on the high side but maybe around 20 matches of pvp and uh a lot of that was not necessarily even killing a lot of it would have been uh helping clan mates out you know trying to get the 15 people in shadow wars and the likes that type of situation but i've i really had stopped playing pvp a lot because it's kind of a toxic place pvp is just i don't know it's full of hatred there is no win or lose or any of that good stuff for pvp as far as i'm concerned because in the end it's all lose because you don't find a lot of gracious players it's, it's mainly just full of hateful mean-spirited people and i don't i don't mean that aimed at everybody but you know you get tired of i got you know i used to get the messages you're you know either you suck or you destroy somebody and you're too good and and you you're cheating because of it somehow because you couldn't have done that so it's one of the reasons why i picked up defiance i kind of been trying to you know i've been a hardcore call of duty player for a long time and i kind of just wanted away from the toxic situation that i felt like call of duty brought so that's one of the reasons why i play like defiance it's a lot of pve stuff to do in the pvp which you know most pvp players will definitely agree is an afterthought for this game so you know, my skill in PvP in this game, very, very low. Because I've played it very little. And most of my weapons I've got are set up for specific situations or types of ga a gameplay for PvE, not PV. Uh, or for PvE, not PvP. I'll get it right. <laughs> but uh, I decided, you know, to hop in today. I'll hop into some PvP because, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing 6,000. I really don't want to have to do PvP and you know the only the only stuff I have done in PvP for Ego has been stuff that you know the clan has helped out with or anything so it's not really been much in the way of playing so I hopped in there today and unfortunately for me I was unlucky enough to hop in against one of my friends who does play a fair amount of PvP and yeah he just he, he made sure that I I had a poor time of it <laughs> which you know I, I don't blame anything for him or nothing but the funny thing is is uh I think I don't I would I think I probably went like two and five and I just like left the match at that point I was like yeah my friend is just wrecking me and it's, it's not a lot of fun at this point and uh <laughs> one of the people that was in the match decided to send me a little message and just you know for me in the end it was a little reminder of um this is why you don't play PvP. And the the message basically was, hey, you post everything else up on YouTube. Why don't you post this up? And I'm sitting there thinking, I killed two people in the match, and you were one of them, and you never killed me. Why are you sending me a message? Uh, I'm pretty sure he was grouped up with my friend, which, you know, as far as I'm saying, it's like, you know, I'm playing solo. I think I jumped in the match with one other person against, like, a... I don't know, six or seven people on the other team? Yeah, that was it was real fair, so sending me a message, you know, really didn't do much. Which, I mean, I, I mean, I'm... I'm <laughs> I can't show you the message, because I, uh, I, I replied to his message, and I uh, let him know that he would be blocked. So I muted him, blocked his communications. I'm not going to deal with people like that. It's the whole reason I don't play Call of Duty anymore was... While there are good players and there are nice people, the level of toxicity is just more than I feel like I want to deal with these days. It's just, you know, it ruins online playing. You know, it's one thing to have that competitive spirit. It's another thing just to, you know, send asinine messages that aren't necessary and I knew that was going to happen too. You know, if you do something like YouTube and anybody recognizes you, you know you're going to have to deal with crap. And that's fine and all, but uh, that just reminded me of why I don't really play PvP. So you will never again see me in PvP. I will, I will stick to what I find is fun about this game, and that is the PvE world, where I find the PvP not to be as good. I mean, the, the only time I've enjoyed PvP in, in many years now, really was some of Destiny's. I enjoyed some of the Destiny PvP, but only to only to an extent. Uh, I didn't really find where one thing was more overpowered than the other to an extent. 
to an extent. We'll say that a second time because there's always something that seems a little bit on the high side, but it wasn't that bad. Where this game, I mean, I hopped in and what was killing me? Sluggers that can shoot forever, people cloaked. I saw, I never was sniped, but I kept seeing people getting sniped. Which, you know, and you know which one it is. It's the Surge Bolter. And the uh, Big Boomers are Abaddon's Touch. Because we got to have the strongest Big Boomers we can have. You know you know how that works. So, <laughs> so yeah, I saw the normal things, you know. the I, I don't think I'm... I mean, if you've seen anything from me by now, I'm going to check you out when you say something to me. And, yeah, I checked out the guy who talked trash to me. And was he using? He's using a Blast Rifle and a Big Boomer. How original. Now, I won't say that I was doing much. I went in there, I was trying to use my Wolfman, and I did swap over to a Slugger, because I knew I had one after I died from it a couple times from my friend, who is pretty darn good. He was destroying me with that Slugger, but uh, I was like, I'll put on my Slugger and see if I can do any good with it. No, my Slugger was not built. For, my Slugger is built for PvE, the way, I, the way I have it set up, so to say. I don't, you know, it's not all about damage for me. It's it's more for fire rakes. So to me, that comes in better in a PvE environment for one. So mine isn't set up for PvP quite like that. So, so yeah, his was just wrecking me, and uh, I don't know. So, anyways, that's that'll be the last time I can tell you that 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 was that was enough for me to say I'm I'm not going back into PvP. I can go in with a group of friends, and we can all do well too. I'm sure because I don't suck at PvP games. I've done it for a long time, but. It's dealing with the people that play it that have really bad attitudes that then want to convey it to you. And it's just, I don't know, it's not something I feel I really want to deal with. So we'll just stay out of that and we'll let them keep their little world. And uh, to those of you who aren't like that, don't send messages. This isn't meant for you guys. So don't take it like I'm being, pointing out that all PvP players are not like this. Or, or are like this because you're not. Some of you guys are really, really good, but... The people that are just instantly, you know, when I play my first PvP match in like a year or whatever, and that's the first thing I get, I'm like, wow, thank you for just pointing out that I'm an idiot for coming back to PvP at all in this game. And this was somebody whose name I already knew, which didn't speak much for him, so. But anyways, that's, that's my little rant for PvP uh, you won't get you guys will not be catching me in there again I will I will stay clear of that after that uh, I'll stay away from those type of people if I can and I'll catch you guys later